Hey there folks, today we're going to be solving another if-then question where we have x minus 1 over x equals negative 1, and we want to evaluate x to the power of 7. To do that, first of all, let's go ahead and solve this given equation. And to do that, first of all, let's go ahead and multiply everything by x to get x squared minus 1 equals negative x. Then, let's go ahead and add x to both sides to get x squared plus x minus 1 equals 0. From here, we can use the quadratic formula and say that x equals negative 1 plus or minus root 5, all divided by 2. Next, we can go ahead and raise both sides to the power of 7 and get x to the power of 7, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to try to find x to the power of 7 in terms of x to the power of 1, and then from there, by using this value, we can evaluate x to the power of 7. So let's go ahead and use this equation to isolate x squared so we can say that x squared equals 1 minus x and then to find x cubed let's go ahead and multiply everything by x to get x cubed equals x minus x squared now since i want to get rid of x squared on the right hand side i'm going to go ahead and use this equation and replace it with 1 minus x so I can say that x cubed equals x minus 1 minus x, which means that x cubed equals 2x minus 1. So next, let's go ahead and use this equation and this equation to find x to the power of 7 in terms of x to the power of 1. To do that, first of all, let's go ahead and cube both sides of this equation to get x squared all to the power of 3 equals the quantity 1 minus x to the power of 3, which means that x to the power of 6 equals 1 minus 3x plus 3x squared minus x cubed. And then notice that since we want to find x to the power of 6 in terms of x to the power of 1, we need to get rid of this x squared and this x cubed. So let's go ahead and use this equation and this equation for that. So we need to replace x squared with 1 minus x, and we need to replace x cubed with 2x minus 1. So we're going to have x to the power of 6 equals 1 minus 3x plus 3 times the quantity 1 minus x minus the quantity 2x minus 1. So this will be simplified to 1 minus 3x plus 3 minus 3x minus 2x plus 1. And then, if you combine like terms, we're going to have x to the power of 6 equals 5 minus 8x. Now, remember that we wanted to evaluate x to the power of 7, so let's go ahead and multiply everything by x to get x to the power of 7 equals 5x minus 8 times x squared. But remember that x squared is equal to 1 minus x, so that means that x to the power of 7 equals 5x minus 8 times the quantity 1 minus x, which means that x to the power of 7 equals 5x plus 8x, which is 13x minus 8. Now remember that we found x to be negative 1 plus or minus root 5 divided by 2, which means that x to the power of 7 equals 13 times the quantity negative 1 plus or minus root 5 all divided by 2 minus 8. So let's go ahead and simplify this. So we can say that x to the power of 7 equals negative 13 plus or minus 13 times root 5 all divided by 2 minus 16 over 2, which means that x to the power of 7 equals negative 29 plus or minus 13 times root 5 all divided by 2. Great, so we evaluated x to the power of 7, and this means that we are done with this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this, and hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully, I will see you later. Goodbye for now.